One, two, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Wait, hold on, there's already a two in there. Welp, so much for that. Hey there, people of the internet world, it's Kibatsu. Welcome back to more Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. Now, we would go straight to the next part, which would be to do spiritual concentration next. But, I want to do something different here. First off, I'm just double checking here to see what kind of party I have going here. Um, <laughs> you know what? I want Lawford for this. I might, as much as I want, I really like Janice. I really just want uh, yeah, Lawford back into this because he just—it just makes it a little more easier, you know. All right. And in the meantime, you can grab your brace the Zoe back because Lawford doesn't really need it. And Lawford, what's the you got? Warhammer? No. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'll just take the heart piercer just so, just because, and uh, we'll give you that and that. Just give you a little more. In the meantime, Lawfer, you can have the mirror, I guess, and Dragon Bane, sure. All right. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a minute of double checking my equipment, make sure I got everything set up, good to go, and whatever, and whatever. Alright, so I think I showed Frigid Dance the last, but in case I haven't done it, I want to show Icicle Edge next, I guess. I guess we'll do it that way. Alright, everyone's set up. I think we're good. Alright, uh, hold on. Let's buy a few more elixirs here. Just a few. Nothing special. Alright. Yep, I think we're good. Okie doke. Alrighty, so as I said before, we're doing something a little different here because the next dungeon we're going to... It doesn't really need spiritual concentration. If anybody has been paying attention before... Well, not before. Since Chapter 3, a certain area here has been secretly placed onto the map without us knowing. This is this spot here. A little island straight to the west of the whole place, but it houses probably one of the more iconic dungeons that you're ever going to come across, because you need to run through this dungeon. I can't stress that enough. We'll go into reasons for that in a minute. But anyway, with that said, this is Brahms Castle. Brahms, the Lord of the Undead, resides here. No sunlight shines on this castle of darkness, which mysteriously appears with the sun setting and disappears each morning when the sun rises. Now, it says it mysteriously appeared and will mysteriously disappear, but it does not go away. It's a dungeon that stays here until you go through it. But even then, you can still go through it anyway. Now, before I go through this, I'm going to mention the gimmick of this place. This place has a time limit. This place has a time limit that you have to go through the entire dungeon and find the end of the dungeon before time runs out. But, because I'm a Mr. Greedy Pants, I'm going to go through and find all the items on top of getting all the... the I'm getting all the items on top of getting to the end here in time. Now, thankfully, in battles, it does not lower time. But it lowers time every time you're on the main screen. So, I don't want to waste time checking the map or whatever, but we're just going to go through it as fast as we can to just try and get to the much room as possible, as many rooms as possible to get the items. So with that said, now that you know the gimmick, now that you could hopefully can catch up with everything, let's enter Brahms Castle. Now as I said before, this place does have a time limit, so we're only, all we're doing here is that we are just hoping that, um, Lena's little orb will show us where all the items are at. Hopefully. If anything, I may just skip some of the fights here as well, just so I can go through it quicker and whatever. Because, um... Oh yeah, it's facing the other way. And there's another one here, so I'll do that as well. That was an arrow, so this is a unicorn horn, which is actually... Unicorn horn, if anybody remembers, is a... What is it? An artifact. If anybody knows that, I think it's a, Is it? 
No, I guess not. I thought it was. Hmm. All right. Hmm. And then there was something else. We got a weapon here as well. We got the Moonflax. Moonflax is a 5% chance of breaking. Uh, force from a fallen meteorite. That's interesting. Um, I don't think time goes by when you're in the menu either. So, one, so 3 minutes and 33 seconds. No. Okay. So, really, the timer only goes away or keeps going down when you're in the map sort of place. So there you go. Now, as for our enemies here, these are the enemies we're running into. Sort of... Sort of, uh... Sort of, uh, what's the word? Underwhelming, considering the kind of enemies we were running into before. <laughs> yeah, considering the kind of enemies we were running into be before, in the last dungeons, whatever, and considering that we've already ran into these before, yeah, it just kind of, you know, it just kind of, I don't know, it, what's the word I'm looking for? It just feels underwhelming. That's, that's all I'm going to say. It's not here, but it's on the other side. Normalize. We already got that. And... No? Okay. But yeah, I'm just focusing on my little orb here to make sure... Oh, darn it! To my side, my noble oh, hi, you! How you doing? Yeah, so, um... Right. Technically, we haven't run into this. Well, I think we have, actually. Maybe in, uh... What is it? The... Oh, I can't remember the name of it. But it's the one place that we got Cashel. Um, damn, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put up a name for it whenever I get to get around to it. But yeah, this thing. We ran into this thing before, but this thing's a weekly now compared to whatever. But the other gimmick that uh, I figured out when I was fighting these things in the last dungeon, they have a tendency to guard a lot. Like those alligator swordsmen that we ran into in the catacombs. So, yeah, you kind of just want to guard crush them whenever you can with magic and whatever so there you go burgundy flash flask don't care all right so don't walk Lenneth we're not we're not here to walk and take a leisure cruise we're here to try and hurry up ah explosion beast slayer well, that's a nice, nice thing no nope, yes okay so yeah we have only have four minutes in game time to actually go through this whole entire castle and to find all the items here and, oh, darn it. Didn't mean to do that. To my side, my noble Ooh, guy. actually, wow, hey, how you doing? So, you this is a new enemy you here, know. actually. So, surprise, surprise. Okay, so we have the succubus. The succubus, um, I think it's kind of like those... I think it's a magician type of monster, and, and I don't think it actually does charm or anything like that, but I think it does kind of cast a status ailment of some kind. But, we're not dealing with it, because it's a very big weakling. So, sorry. I will say her death animation was very... For us. Her death animation was actual an actual death animation. It looked like she was actually dying and vanishing or whatever. Which was interesting to me. Alright, I'm pretty sure... This is a dead end. It has one or two items. Nightshade... And combo counter. We already have combo counter. Does that transmute to anything? Slanting rain. Darn it. Yeah, we already learned that, so this is another one that um, we could just uh another item in our inventory that we're never gonna be able to use again, so there you go. Alright, let me get rid of these enemies here. That's interesting. The succubus actually dropped the heal spell, which is nice. So that's good. Alright, so let's head down this way so that we can go explore the other side, because there's a uh, back row and there's a front row. And the front row here... Oh, hi! How you doing, buddy? If anything else, at least uh, we're getting a little more experience. Okay, that's a save point. You don't need that. There's another save point right next to the boss room. Surprise, surprise. So we don't need that save point. So, hi! So yeah, another dungeon with two save spots. So, pointless! Now, I know in one of these areas here, there's a way to get into the middle section, or back into the middle section, excuse me, because actually, if I can do this, shut us off, we have a back front row and a back row. The middle row is what we're after, because the middle row is where the, the, the boss is. So, there you go. But, the middle row is somewhere between these, this area here. 
And I think this way is actually the only way we can go to actually get to the middle area. Yeah, it is. So we'll be back to this room in just a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna go straight. Ah, hi! At least the two of those demons actually do give a decent amount of EXP, like 1400, but it's not much, but still, it's something. And I'm here. That was a flop. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so this is a flare, we already have that. No item here, good. I almost want to give Lenneth the bow again, just so that she can actually like get some more items from these monsters here. Because, um, that heal spell was actually a nice thing to find. Alright, so, now I'm gonna go this way. Head straight up in here, and go into the middle section. And I think going to the left is a dead end. Yes, it is. Vegetable seed. Eh, another elixir if I need it. So, there you go. Um, I don't think... I think there's any more rooms that lead us anywhere other than dead ends. Ooh, throw. Um, what did that transmute into? Splash. We already have splash, so throw it is. No? No splash? Yes, we do. Alright, so another another useless item that uh, is just going to stay in our inventory forever, because we can't use it, we can't transmute it into something useful, and we can't uh, sell it, so there you go. To my side, my noble I pledge my Oh, hi, uh, that thing. Okay. Well, it's not bad, so we'll handle it. Okay, so one last enemy here to show off before we get to the boss, I guess, is the Vampire Lord. And it's in the rear, so you can only guess that this thing is probably going to cast some magic if you leave it alone. Kind of like how the very first boss did. Wow, nobody died? Really? Okay. So there you go. Um, a little trick that I've learned with this, actually. If you just keep mashing the button to keep going to the, to the combo, he, and you guard it, he will guard all the whole counter. But, if he guards the first attack, and you wait a minute, he, it'll be like he forgot to keep guarding. So, there's that. Oh, darn it, you missed. You missed! How could you miss? She was in three feet in front of you! There you go. Nice juggle. But yeah, um, what, so if you actually, if your first hit actually hits them and they guard it, then you can wait a minute, like wait like uh, one or two seconds, and then if you hit the button again, you'll do like uh, a continuation, but like uh, start a new attack. You're continuing your combo, but you're starting a new set of attacks. So, when you do that, then you have a chance to just go through the guard anyway, without having the guard break the guard. So that's nice. Well, that Vampire Lord actually dropped uh, Info Feather, so that's nice. Uh... Oh, hi! Hi, Dragon Tooth Warrior guy! How you doing? We'll fight you in just a second, so if you don't mind, I kind of want to keep going and search the treasures here. Switch that one. Go. That's a mythical war. Eh, not special. Yeah! It's funny seeing those vampires try to take a turn, because they just waste their first turn and they don't do anything. So, funny. Yeah, they just waste their first turn doing what? Doing nothing. So, it's really. It's just. Ooh, it's really just. You either get them done in the first turn or you don't. Is there another item in here? No? Okay, good. Alright, so, let's get the elephant in the room, or the warrior, I guess, we'll call it that. To my side, my noble now, if I remember right, this is a... ooh, it's a ram guardian. Interesting. I don't know if it's actually guarding anything, but okay. Uh, I am going to first cast Sapguard, because that's the norm with anything that is this kind of being. This guy here, though. If I can actually... yeah, there we go. Cool. Yeah, this thing actually has a lot of HP, so you kind of want to have everybody go at it at once. So... let's see here. Uh... Alright, Waffle, you're first. 
But yeah, with these Dragon Tooth Warrior guys, they are gonna be everywhere at this point, and they are just gonna be causing more and more trouble for us. So, if anything else, it always helps having something ready. If you actually, if you actually given somebody that in your party here, a magician per se, if you're given a magician of yours, um, a holy spell of some kind, it helps against finding these guys a lot. I would do Lennon's Valkyries, but I'll, I'll save that for later another time. Let us go, my friends. But yeah, vegetable seed. Vegetable seed. It took. Wow, pathetic. Alright, so yeah, we're going to be running to Dragon Tooth Warriors often, as well as to Dragon Zombies, so there's that. There have been no level ups yet, which if that if that doesn't show like how far these characters have gotten here. Alright, well, we're at the save point, so yay, we're at the boss with one minute to spare, so that's nice. Alright, so for this fight... Let me see if I have anything here that's actually strong, stronger than the weapons I got. You're supposed to spread out a little bit. You got 90% holy damage though. So I'll take you. You. Okay, so back up to you. A little lightning damage there, I guess. Why not? And then you. Uh, you don't really have anything good. Jolanda, you're fine. Actually, can I transmute these into anything decent? What a transmute, but like, uh. Convert, there you go. I guess not. Eh. And not special. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Let me just turn this into a list of potion. There you go. We'll probably use that in this fight here because I'll be honest here. This fight we're gonna be running into here, it's actually kind of difficult, and you probably won't be able to do it. You probably won't be able to actually beat this boss if you are not ready. Let's let's put it that way. Um. I don't have a holy spell yet, do I? No, I do not. No, I have Sacred Javelin. Hmm. What abilities do I have? Hmm. I think we should have Petro Disruption. I'm pretty sure we have, actually. So... Why don't we show Shadow Servant Scepter spell next? I'm gonna equip the Element Scepter for now, because I still want to show it off. Element Scepters are just kinda... Uh, expandable, so there you go. But uh, I'll be showing that, just to do this. Alright. But yeah, I think we're set, good to go, everyone's set. Alright. So... With that said, though, we went through this whole place in under three minutes so far. And all because when if we don't hurry up, this this castle will just disappear. So, who's waiting for us at the very end of this dungeon, then?
Now, this is an interesting spot here. This Brahms character knows something that Lennox doesn't. But this is the king of the undead, so to say. I don't know about the king, but like he's he's hot her he's an undead person and he rules over undead. So regardless, I think he needs to be put down anyway. I'll just say this now, for if you're going if you're following my rules or whatever, you're following this playgroup playthrough or whatever, it does not matter which one you choose. It does not matter at all. Like, whatsoever. It does not matter. But, because we're here for a boss fight, we're here for a boss fight. So, let's have a boss fight. Fight on regardless. say we don't need to battle, but I say we do. So, we are introducing here our first boss to have full voice sets, I believe. I... no? No, I'm right, I'm right. It's the first boss that we encountered that has a full voice set, actually. This character is voice, so that's interesting enough. But what's more interesting is that this guy about this guy for some weird reason there's something going on that is very curious and we got to figure out what's going on because he showed that girl in this up in the crystal up there who is she what is she doing up there uh, there's a lot of mystery to this but if we're gonna get anywhere we gotta beat this boss so let's go ahead and beat this boss <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, about this boss, you can probably consider this a super boss. Because he just did what must what must have been like what several hundred thousand damage to us if we can only take up to like at the most twenty to live. So yeah, this guy is not a pushover, like in no regards whatsoever. I'll be amazed if I actually do more than just one damage here. Yeah, I don't do one damage at all. I don't do more than one damage at all. And the thing is, though, you see that we guard crush him, but he doesn't, um, faint. He is invulnerable to faint, if that's not bad enough. So, yeah, we can't guard crush him in hopes of defeating him in that sense. The only thing he's weak to is magic. So Jolanda has to come in and say it today. So Jolanda, if you would do the honors. Yeah, this thing has a lot of HP, this guy, I should say. Oh, darn you. Lawford actually guarded that, you jerk. Yeah, he actually guarded that, too, which was amazing and funny. Yeah, sorry, Lawford. 
you did your best though. You guarded, so there you go. But uh, yeah, this guy, <laughs> this guy. We're probably gonna have a hard time trying to get around to beat this guy. Oh darn it! I did that guard charge tag. At least he can still miss. So that's the nuts, that's a plus side. He can still miss, and we can still guard against his attack. So that's nice. Uh, uh, yeah, we can't guard. If we, even if we do guard crush him, he's just gonna. He's just gonna, you know, just hit us anyway and kill us anyway. Thanks to Bloody Curse. You know, now that I think about it, I probably should have bought a lot of Union prompts. Just so I can keep up with this. I should have enough. That and I'm pretty sure Guts can save us. We we maxed out Guts all on except for Chalanda, but she doesn't need it right now, technically. How many Union Pumps do we have, actually? We have 12. I think we can do this. We just need to get some more gems so that Jolanda can actually get his get her equipment stuff. Because because her sword broke, she doesn't necessarily have a way to, you know, hurt this guy without a magic wand of some kind. Or a dragon bane. Dragon bane's not a wand, so bleh. But yes, uh, Jolanda does need to get her equipment going so that she we can actually, you know, do some more damage. Now, with that special out of the way, at least, oh darn it. But yeah, now with that special out of the way, which by the way, Meteor Swarm is probably my second favorite attack to use, just because of how much damage it can do. So there you go. But with that said, though, we still need to put on a Dragon Bane to do some damage. You should be able to Union Plum. Good. Okay. So now you can equip, you can equip the Dragon Bane, so you can actually do some more, like, attacks, rather than just look pretty. Yeah, we can't do anything. The only thing we can do against him is magic, so... I mean, we could do one damage. If we get all six hits in, we can do, like, six to nine damage. So there you go. But, Jolanda is our main damager here. So, with Jolanda Dragon Bane set up good to go, Alright. Alright, so what we're gonna do here then is that we are going to go through all of our specials here. And then Jolanda is going to be our last one. So that Jolanda can get a magic boost for her magic attacks. Because I've already stated this before, but your special attacks, when you use them in order, whoever uses them the third, I gets like a 10-20% boost. And then the last person to use their special, it gets like a... Oh, I don't know how much. Um, let's say 30%, just so... just to feel roundabout. I'm wondering if actually the special attack goes to do anything with Zap Guard up, because Zap Guard ran out by now. Alright, with this though, we should do pretty good damage. Not great, but not bad. But now with everybody having those counter turns up, this is probably going to be a while. Now if I remember right... No, I don't have it. Dang, I thought I had it. Hmm. Alright, well, we're going to speed this up then, because we have these holy crystals, and... As I said before, I don't think he actually has a weakness, though. Let me take a look. No, he has no weakness. So there you go. But yes, he has 52,000 HP, but he's not, he's like very high defense. So why don't we just not waste that much time and just start using Holy Crystals? Because we already wasted enough time as it is. One gem. Alright. So after, after Arngrim gets annihilated, by not the special attack, thankfully. We're just gonna go ahead and just finish it off here. 
Uh, maybe. I'm not sure on that one. Alright, so let's just use a Holy Crystal. That's about... He has about maybe... Oh, I don't know how much he has. Maybe... Ah, uh, 6,000, 8,000 damage? I wonder if the Lightning Crystal will be enough here. Let's take a look. It should be enough. And thus, the dungeon's over. That's it. Nothing else. It just ends like that for no reason whatsoever. So, that's a thing. But, you may be wondering what happens when you don't fight him. Or, if you actually stand there and reconsider, like, what you're doing with this guy. Well, be thankful that you don't have to go somewhere else to find out, because after I'm done here... I'm just going to go ahead and put that up at the end of this episode. So, you, you'll be able to see the second option, in case you're curious as to what happens, technically. So, with that said then, that was Brahms Castle. Brahms. Something about him. He knows something. He definitely knows something that we don't. One can only guess what that is, though. But since we can only assume, we can't necessarily make a good guess on it, but we can only assume this, that there's something more going on. But I guess we'll, we won't know right now. So I guess we'll try to answer some more questions next time, huh? So with that said, this is Gibatu. And until we get some questions answered, goodbye to you. Laters!